got a well packaged Chrome Shop Mafia. I'm find a button I think that's better than this. Okay. This is everything that comes in the kit from uh, Four States and Oranis. So you'll have fittings. It's gonna be one, two, three, four. We got some two L, L shape and two, uh, I guess, I'll call them a T, T splits. We'll get into this later. gonna be the top bracket it's gonna sit like this on the leaf spring that is gonna go here that's times two we have the nuts lock washers well lock nuts washers some of these uh, allen wrench ones okay right here it's gonna be the valve so this you put inside your cab uh, I'm gonna try to get a better system you got airlines so you got these these just go like this. It goes like that. This is where you would release. Oh, I don't even know if we can do it. Okay, I can't even turn it. I guess you have to. Uh... Oh, you gotta push. Jeez. It says push to lock. Okay. And then you have one airline. That's it in that box. So I'll show you everything that comes in this kit. We got two of these. Not sure if I'll be using them or not. Once you open up the menu, I mean the menu, the uh, directions. And then you have the bottom brackets. It's two of everything, so. And the airlines. So, so this pretty much you're gonna tap in to the truck air. So this is everything you get in this kit. My focus stopped working on this level, so So let's look at these instructions. All right, so you have fittings. Assuming these go on top of the airbags. So you got one, two, three, four fittings, like six zip ties, and the instructions. So this is uh, pretty much what you'll need. Next page is the picture of how it should all be. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to drill in to my frame. 
not 100% sure yet though, unless it uses the factory location, maybe. So, there's a picture of how it's gonna sit. This right here is gonna be the instructions step by step. They did a, they did a pretty good job as far as everything goes, they even got, I believe, yeah, they have torque specs. That's good. And then they have the, they have the directions here once again. And then figure two, so this is how the system works. From your main, that's pretty much anywhere that it's coming constant from the, from the air tanks to the valve, which is inside your cab. And from the cab, you're running it out to that one of the T's. And then from that T, you're running it to left bag and right bag. So one of these, 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 okay. Yeah, you, you get the point though. Here, let's make it right. So that's, so this is the four way. Yeah, guys, so on the next uh, next clip is going to be me installing it. You got that car over there. With What'd you say? Oh, I struck us. What are we doing? That's good. I like it. So we got the shock off, lifted it up. Um, well, he did. I kind of watched. Modifications. Yeah, minor modifications. So now we're going to drop the jack, get the, um, get the weight off the leaves, and then take the leaf pack apart. And uh, hopefully everything just comes off. Best case scenario. Worst case scenario, we put everything back together and go home. <laughs> so, that's it. Safety vest and a hard hat. Don't record me possibly dying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, just knock it out now with the hammer. So now we're going to attempt to uh, separate the leaves. Take uh, this one stays, and these three come out, and then this part is going to stay. Put your back into this. This is part of this. So I, I had, I had I this. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, there's like. So, this universal kit is not as easy as you would actually think that it would be just to install. There's a lot that I had to do, like uh, pull out some bolts. I'm gonna have to get uh, shorter shocks. That's not that's not the hard part. But you got airlines, zip ties, oil lines, fuel lines. Well, this would be a fuel line goes right underneath and goes right where the bag sits. Passenger side, the bag is in. Uh, once uh once the shock is in this is going to be sitting around like that but yeah so that shot uh that bag is in still um oh. sitting without uh air yet obviously so pulled out two leaves so i got two and a half it's pretty low um i can go lower by getting the newer pack car updated leaves uh leave hangers or shackles so they are the newer style pack car ones and they mount more up here and they will pull this whole leaf all the way up here that will give you more drop so if you're doing this on your uh w9 or t660 maybe even t600 you can get the newer it's the upgraded pack car uh don't buy them from Kenworth because they're expensive buy them offline they're a lot cheaper about 200 dollars cheaper each
I'm not really like a huge fan of these. I guess maybe when I paint the brackets, I will be, but just keep in mind, if you have a 99, I mean, I don't know if um, all the uh, W900s have the same, you know, double, double frame and stuff like that. You see how it's a double frame right here. So there will be random holes drilled, you know, for like, let's say a shock mount. And then there was another hole there. The one where I'm actually using this bolt right here is uh it's pretty much you know to sandwich the two frames together so pretty much uh what separates this truck from let's say a t660 is this piece right here for the radiator the motor is kind of more forward and that's really it so when they add the double frame obviously they got to use a lot of bolts because you can't really weld it and um you run into issues like um see right here i'm gonna be able to drill this hole i'll be able to drill this one but you see how this one is that one the bolt won't fit through there unless i drill then i'm gonna need maybe like two washers in the back see right here to actually make it stay good uh, otherwise i'm probably gonna drill a hole here and just have three on three you know like this or maybe a hole here let's say you know it's all gonna depend on how easy it is well correction how hard it is to drill this frame so um so the bag is all mounted everything is mounted now i'm just gonna drill the holes and tighten the bottom of the airbag up i didn't do this side yet because i didn't know where i you know needed it in order to clear the coolant hoses see the coolant hose down here Oh, it's plenty clear now. Also, one more thing. Let's go to the other side. I know they don't tell you, but so this is how your other side will fit. There's no way around it. I've I've tried everything. I tried swapping the bags around. I tried swapping the the bottom mount around. You just can't. No way. So see the uh, that cut right there. It's kind of hard to see. See how I cut it? We cleared the bag. Uh, it was barely clearing it but i'm not sure like when it's aired up if it was gonna you know rub or not so i did cut it and also um i talked to my buddy igor and he said they actually cut his too so for the most part i guess everybody does just kind of shave down that part so that's that's something to keep in mind so it's not a direct bolt-on. You are gonna have to drill. You are gonna have to cut. Um, you have to. You're gonna need new shocks, and that might really be it. So, so far it's going well. We'll we'll keep this in mind. See what I might have to do. But that's that's as far as this will. The airbag will go uh, that way where I can get a bolt in. See, I'm on the last. I'm on the last uh, hole, so that's kind of where we sit. So yeah, let's uh, let's probably yeah, probably start drilling. I mean, it's I think it's about the only thing we're left with. So. so the point is to try and not force the uh, drill bit so we'll overheat it my battery started to die and the drill bit going to get stuck So like that it'll make a it'll make a little scrape in the in the in the steel so it'll keep getting stuck there we go. so yeah see it starts to smoke it's nice if you have a uh, some kind of lube uh, I have drill bit lube, but I can't find it. So I have this uh, 
It's plastic safe, multi-purpose, precision lubricant without a cap. So put some on there. I put some on my drill bit sometimes. And just send it. There it goes. So tries to uh, have some good drill bits. I will show you my drill bits I'm using. Bits that have been saving me lately. Um, I kind of start out with the small one, and then I'll skip every other one, so I don't have to go one size up on all of them. So uh, that's been working for me. Something else might work for you. Maybe you guys have better drill bits. But back to a uh, topic. I did have to remove the power steering um, oil hoses. So, well, I, I just removed the lower one, the in one. And um, pretty much I just tucked it away up there so I can have room for the drill because these, are, these lines are uh, steel braided. So they're really hard to move around. And uh, I didn't want to damage any because I don't want this back project to turn into a power steering project. So, so that's how the bracket's coming along. Um, drilling, of course, is tedious, takes a long time. I've been at it for about an hour with uh, obviously doing that bolt and now this one and making it all work. So, so far, everything is. So this is the air ride fully aired out. And I'll show you guys the shocks that I got. So, um, the the left side does sit a little bit lower. As you can tell, the, this side is a little bit higher up. That's because of the spacer shim for the caster for your alignment. So, I'm going to show you guys that right now, too. So, these are the shocks I got. And if I haven't already inserted it in the video, I'm going to... the. Uh, the part number for this for these trucks but i want to make one thing clear again if you do lower it and you remove some leaves this thing is going to be sitting on your tie rod so this is usually upside down so just look at mine and if you have a w9 go look at yours so this sits on the bottom and it sits upside down so it would be sitting the other way and the shock sits way down here the stock shock i uh, like right around here somewhere so what you need to do is you take this is this is from the driver's side. So you take the driver's side to the passenger, passenger to the driver's side, and you flip them upside down and you put them on top, on top of the leaf pack. So then you're gonna end up running a shorter shock. And then uh, when you air well, it's not even when you air out, like right now, if this was on the bottom it would be sitting on the tie rod. So I seen one guy have it like that and it's not the way to do it. So pretty much this is the caster plate I was talking about for your alignment. See that bottom piece? That's gonna be your caster plate. And alignment shops do carry those. So if you want to replace, they release the U-bolts a little bit. They pull it out and put a different one in. I'll show you my other, other side caster plate. You can't even see it barely see so it's that much smaller so yeah so the part number for the shocks these are gonna be almost for everybody I you guys have no idea how far of a length I went to try and find these shocks or at least a part number because I sat there and I cross-referenced so many numbers from Monroe and uh, that other stupid company and nobody could help me out. And then finally one guy off of Instagram gave me his part number. And with that, I was able to get these. So shout out to him. And we're good to go pretty much. So. Hold it right here. I'll show you guys how we're going to, how and what we're going to do here. You gotta grommet. You wanna make sure, I mean, you don't have to, but it's nice to make sure to use a grommet. 
whenever you got naked, you know, ends and there's a lot of street vibrations and stuff like that, road vibrations. So you want to make sure your airlines, you want to make sure your airlines don't rub. So there's that. Now we're just going to run our airlines through here. I'm going to mount my system right here. 